2024 is shaping up to be one of the best years for indie games ever. So I'm here to tell you about the 7 best indie games of 2024 so far. What is your indie game recommendation of this year? Let us all know in the comments. We don't get that many good action platformers, but man, Berserk Boy is so much fun. You go from stage to stage and collect awesome elemental powers. They come with new cool moves, which can be used in combat and traversal as well. The ice power, for example, lets you hang on to certain objects, while the lightning power lets you enter high speed tubes. That way, you constantly need to switch between these powers, which creates a satisfying and fun flow that gets addictive pretty quickly. While your main task is to get to the end of the stage, there are a bunch of secret paths to find that reward you with the currency you can then spend on upgrades for some of the moves of the elemental powers, which makes combat easier and so much fun. This is a relatively short game, which takes something between 3-5 to five hours to complete, but you can get much more out of this by trying to collect everything and master every stage. If you like games like Mega Man, you'll probably have a lot of fun with Berserk Boy. It doesn't get more charming than this. The third entry in the Cat Quest series is better than its predecessors in every single way, and that means it's an incredibly fun experience. Cat Quest 3 is an action RPG where exploration and finding loot are the center of its gameplay. The beautiful world is packed with funny side quests, optional dungeons to explore, and unique items to find. Getting tons of equipment to increase your cat's strength is as simple as it is motivating and fun. That's also because this time around, weapons and armor come with unique effects that change how combat feels drastically, so getting a new unique sword is always exciting. Combat is mostly easy and simplistic, but there are some enemies with mechanics that are just really entertaining and add a lot to the overall charm of this game. I haven't finished this game yet, but I can confidently say that it's one of the games I had the most fun with this year, and that's thanks to the fantastically paced gameplay loop. If you're looking for an approachable, charming and fun RPG this year, go with Cat Quest 3, you have a great time. Bo, Path of the Teal Lotus is one of my favorite metrovanias of this year. That's because it feels unique, new and familiar at the same time. You see, this game focuses on acrobatic movement and platforming sections rather than combat. The various abilities you get open up the beautiful world and getting from point A to B just gets more and more fun the further you progress. At the end, all the abilities can combine to create an insanely satisfying and fun movement flow. What I really like here is that the difficulty is mostly spot on, so it is challenging, but rarely super hard. Only towards the end there are platforming sections that take it a bit too far and can be a bit frustrating, just so you know. The few bosses in this game are designed fantastically, and pretty much all of them incorporate some sort of platforming, which makes these fights unique and memorable. Yeah, overall this game just keeps on giving and the pacing is pretty much perfect. You probably love this game if you like games like Hollow Knight or the Ori series. After my initial skepticism, I must say, Nine Souls is absolutely fantastic. Combat is inspired by Sekiro, so mastering the parry or deflect is an absolute must, but also a joy because it's really precise and satisfying to use. Besides the standard sword attack, you can attach an explosive talisman to the enemy to deal huge damage. While most of the standard enemies are pretty easy to defeat, the bosses are really hard. Well, at least for me they are, and I would even say that Nine Souls is one of the most difficult games I've ever played. Not only combat is awesome though, so is the movement, because with every new ability, movement feels even more fluid and fun. And then there's the absolute insane art style that easily makes Nine Souls one of the most beautiful games I've ever played. Oh, and soundtrack is a real banger too. Nine Souls is so good that I think it will always be considered to be one of the best Metroidvanias ever. Balatro definitely takes the top spot when it comes to the most addictive games of 2024. Yes, this is a deck building roguelike kind of game, but a quite unique one. Here you start with a deck of regular playing cards and your goal is to reach a certain score, which gets higher every round. You get points for playing poker hands, like a full house, a straight and so on. Now, this is where the fun starts. After every round, you earn money you can spend to buy new cards that are far from standard. Most importantly, there are jokers that grant you different effects, like a multiplier on uneven numbers or extra point for every remaining card in your deck, and like hundreds of different other effects. Since this is a roguelike, 
everything is random. So you need to make good decisions to find synergies between Joker cards and all the other different upgrades you can get for your deck. Honestly, to describe Bilateral isn't exactly easy, but I guarantee you, once you've played the first round, you'll be hooked and you won't want to stop playing. It's the perfect game if you have just a couple of minutes to spare every day. I was not prepared for Dungeons of Hinterburg. This action adventure combines Zelda-like dungeon exploration and puzzle solving with light social elements as in Persona. And it just works so well. During the day you explore a beautifully designed world, learn magic spells and find the 25 dungeons. These start off pretty standard but quickly turn out to be designed super creatively. That's because not only are the puzzles well designed and actually require you to think for more than 5 seconds, but also the way that they surprise you by doing something completely unique to them, something no other dungeon does, is such a joy. I really don't want to spoil a single thing here because I think these moments are the best part of this game and the reason why I've been gushing about this game since it came out. In the evening you interact with people, help them with some stuff and deepen the relationships, which rewards you with items, health upgrades and all kinds of things. All of this creates such an incredibly fun gameplay loop and I could barely put down the controller. Dungeons of Hinterburg is my surprise hit of this year. Mini Shoot Adventure is easily one of my favorite games of 2024 and my favorite indie game so far. This one combines twin stick shooter combat with Zelda-like exploration and it's an absolute match made in heaven. You explore a wide world that is filled with secrets, hidden paths and most importantly blocked ways. For that you need to unlock special abilities that you can find in the several dungeons. These range from combat abilities like a super shot to movement abilities like the boost. Exploration is definitely the highlight since there are tons and tons of secrets to find, like hard pieces for more health and a lot of other things. Finding these secrets not only is super satisfying, but super rewarding too. That's because you also gain EXP that can then be used to upgrade your ship with a higher fire rate, more damage, greater speed and so on. Upgrading your harmless and cute ship to a war machine that fires hundreds of bullets in seconds is just so much fun. I mean, seriously, the whole gameplay loop of Miniature Adventures is addictive. I personally wish this game would have been a bit longer, but the roughly 8 hours I spent with my first playthrough are definitely among the best hours I spent with a game ever. Alright, that's it. My top 7 indie games of 2024 so far. What is your favorite indie game so far? Let us all know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video as it helps smaller content creators like me a lot. Thanks so much for watching, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.